Hey, it's Tango Oscar Mike. It doesn't seem that cold out, but that's frozen. I have the Moby Link D uh, TNC3 with me. I don't have it running now because I really don't think I'm going to get much signal here, but I'm going to try it when I get out to the high point that I'm going to be at. Uh, I did bring up a roll up J pole antenna, so if I don't get a signal with my whip, I can try the uh, roll up J pole on my mast and see how that goes. That is pretty cool. I know you think the antenna is close to my face, but it's really not. Like I can lean up, lean my head over and touch it, but it's not near my eyes or anything. Um, it's the only place that I could really figure out to, to put it. So I'll tell you what, doing all these hikes um, has had a, a couple of benefits. One of them is obviously my fitness level has improved. I know pretty much how long it takes me to walk a mile conservatively. I know how about how far I can go um, before I even start to feel tired. Uh, I've learned a lot about layering. Just looking at the tracks here in the mud. I've learned a lot, a lot about layering and you know what stuff to put in my pack to take with me. So there is a lot that doing this can can help you. Um, the tech prepper recently posted a message on Instagram. Uh, he was doing a little bit, of, a little bit of a uh, workout with a piece of equipment, talking about how your fitness level should be your priority. You know, should be part of your preps, and I couldn't agree more. When my, when I left, my wife was down in, uh, in our. We have a little exercise room. She was down in that room working out, looking good. I like being out here. I am going, I don't know if you can see that lone tree up there on that ridge. That's the lookout I'm trying to uh, get to. The temperature is only supposed to be in the 40s, low 40s today. But I'll tell you what, that sun makes it feel a lot warmer than it is. So I'm using the TNC app to make sure that I have my audio level set correctly. Now I'm going to go into APRS Droid. Say start tracking. Let's see. It sent out a packet, um, but nobody heard me. So let me stand up and try it. So somebody got my packet, um, so I'm going to leave this setting up here, and I'm just going to let that go ahead and do its thing. <laughs> well, the APRS experiment is going well. Um, I wasn't having any luck with the whip on my radio, even though it's a Nagayu antenna. Uh, it's supposed to, you know, that actually works really well. It just wasn't picking up anything. So I brought this roll up JPO with me, uh, a little extra weight in the pack, but I just threw it up on this bush and it's receiving well. Um, two stations are hearing me, which normally I only hear one, even when I'm at home. So if I ran this up on my mast, I'd probably even get better reception. So that might work when I'm out in other locations. I got to figure out a way, like another strap to mount it like halfway up the mast so I don't interfere with my HF antenna. Um, I've made a few contacts, but I've been playing with the APRS and listening to other people. Um, so let me turn the radio down in fact. The reason I came out is to shoot the video for Monday night portable operations night. Portable operations is different to a lot of people. 
To me, this is my portable operations, although I do work from a truck. Uh, anytime you leave your shack, that's portable operations. Some people like to go a little bit uh, more extreme. Um, even though I don't call this extreme, uh, I do get inspiration from uh, Julian OH8STN uh, in his videos. That's why I started coming out here and, and wanting to be outdoors no matter what the conditions were. I actually came prepared for really bad conditions. I have uh, a tarp shelter. I have a, my poncho. Um, I even brought a saw to cut wood. So my pack is a little heavier today than normal. Um, the chair, the two pound chair, I still would have liked to have had the two pound chair, but to be honest, it wouldn't have fit into my pack today. Sorry if I keep blinding you with the sun, I keep trying to walk around and get different shots. But it's nice up here. I made a few contacts uh, park to park. Uh, I don't know if I'm actually going to do an activation. I might get on and call for a little bit. Um, but uh, today's one of those days where uh, I'm just enjoying being out here. I encourage everybody, I say this before and I'll say it again, I encourage everybody to get outdoors with your radio. Um, it's winter here in Pennsylvania. Uh, we've had some really good snows, but lately it's just been frozen. The ground's mostly frozen, except for that top, you know, quarter inch has completely turned to mud. The parking lot I pulled into was mud. I was actually spinning in two-wheel drive in my truck. I'll probably put it in four-wheel drive when I leave to get out, but it's beautiful out. I tried using my headset for the first time uh, and it works great except for when the wind blows. When the wind blows it'll trigger the microphone. I even turned on, down the sensitivity on the Vox but it's still triggering the microphone when the wind blows. So I need to get like a little windsock like I have for this, uh, uh, for this microphone to go with the radio so I'm not triggering the Vox when I don't want it to. Um, it's kind of a pain in the butt that it was doing that and if I would put up a shelter and block myself from the wind it would probably work just fine and that's what I'll be doing for winter field day but my setup the KX2 the BioNO 3 amp hour battery um, hand mic there's the headset and the little audio recorder I brought I did actually record uh, one QSO so far um, and a bunch of dead air space that I'm going to hate to filter through. So here's my Wushan uh, KG UV9D. Here is the MobiLink TNC3. But there's the pack. I'll weigh the pack when I get home, but I bet you I'm probably close to 30 pounds today. Um, and it's heavy. I can feel, I could feel a little strain on my shoulders and the pack, when I pack the pack it seems like it's unbalanced it seems like most of the weight is on the left side of the pack so when you're packing your pack try to think about that and how you put the weight in the pack um, with all the weight on one side of the pack it seemed to be really pulling on my one shoulder so I'm gonna repack it before I leave and try to balance out the weight a little more for portable operations you really don't need much you need a radio you can take out like I said you don't have to go out and do this you can just take your radio to a car sit in your car and work from the parking lot um, there's all kinds of masks you can put on your par car uh, to put up an antenna higher but you can just use a ham stick a uh, 20 or 30 dollar ham stick and you'll be able to get out to make some contacts uh, as long as you ground it and mount it all properly um, I do like having a mast on my truck uh, so I can get my antenna much higher. Um, uh, it's great for community events and portable operations where you just you're you're in a valley and need to get your antenna much higher. Um, when I come to parks, I do try to find areas with the highest elevation uh, because it it helps you. It just definitely does. I want to try doing an activation in the deepest valley of this park. Uh, I know where it is. There's a stream that runs through it, um, and it's quite a hike down into that valley. But I want to go down there one time and try to set up my antenna and just see if I can make any contacts. But portable operations is fun. Uh, it's a great way to test your skills, uh, not just with radio, but your planning, um, your planning skills, uh, you know. It's, it's very easy to forget something, like I forgot something to anchor my end fed to my antenna mast. And like I said, I do have uh, a little bit of uh, Gorilla Tape. Uh, 
in here and I could do that. I could probably tie it on with a paracord um, if I really wanted to, if I really needed to make it work. Um, but I, since I had both antennas with me, I figured I would just uh, use my link dipole, take it easy, uh, not worry about it too much. Like I said, I'm, I'm just kind of enjoying being out here today. Um, I made two contacts and I'm using pen and paper today. Um, I, I've kind of gotten sour on using applications on my phone. Uh, well, I'm hiking out. Just packed, got everything packed up. I didn't activate the park. I think this is the first time that I've been out at a park and actually didn't activate the park um, since my first successful activations, let's say it that way. I have the TNC sticking out of my thing there and I have it hooked to the radio and it's transmitting. So we'll see when I get home if it was able to pick me up at any point on this trail during my hike out. Well, this is Tank Oscar Mike. I hope you enjoyed the video. Take care and get outside. Tango Oscar Mike.